In this next part of the Substance Painter tutorial set, we're going to be looking at how you can have multiple materials on one model. Um, so we can see on our rock model we only have one material listed on our texture set. Um, but what if we wanted to have multiple materials? Well, in this demo model we have here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a different material on these bars going around here. So um, if we just select our model, you'll see we've got TA box mat. And uh, what we really should be doing here is having this centered as well. So let's just do this. Um, we have TA box mat on everything. So what we want to do is select the faces going around this edge. Like so. And we're going to right click and go to assign new material. We'll just use a blend in this case. We'll call this TA box B mat. Um, we're going to also want to do these side bits as well. So we could use shift and full stop to expand the selection and then just my, hold control and then do a marquee select to minus off the selection. Like so. Um, so yeah, we've got those bars completely selected. So we'll again right click, assign existing material, and assign TA box B. Um, so we can see the different color as well. Let's just make sure everything's correctly assigned. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do File, Export Selection. We'll browse to our tutorial folder. And I'm going to call this low underscore multi-mat. Um, we'll t keep triangulate off actually, and then we'll do export. So we can jump back into Substance Designer. We'll make a new project, and I'll just browse to that folder and hit open. Okay, so our model has now come in, and we can see in our texture set we actually have two materials listed. And what's cool is in the UV set it does actually show you. Um, the UVs that that is applied to. Okay, so let's just add a new fill layer on here, and we're just going to set the color of this to red. And we'll go back to our one here, and we'll add another new layer, and we'll set this one to blue. Um, so what I really want to show you here is the fact that um, we have a different layer set for each model. Um, so not only that, but if we hit plus on here and say add an emissive slot to this, when we go back to our other material, the emissive slot is no longer there. So let's say on box A, we get rid of the base color, the height, roughness, metallic, and just have emissive. Like, um, and we'll just add another fill layer. And you can see this is just adding to the emissive. So we can delete those two out. So if you did want to have that whole bo box glowing, and then the rest of the material with your standard PBR um, shader network, then you can have that too. Um, so yeah, you can have multiple materials on your model, and you can assign different layers. So it has a completely different layer set to here, um, to, for each one. And you can apply different channels depending on what you need for each one. Um, when you go to export, this will show you uh, each of the channels that you have uh, um, kind of in here anyway. And obviously you can pick your, uh, so you can see it's got document channels plus normals, hence why I have emissive plus the normal there. So um, you can still set this to PBR kind of roughness as well, but obviously you're not going to want that for, uh, for your emissive one. Um, so yeah, you can have multiple materials on your model. Um, another useful little feature actually is if we just put a black mask in here let's say and let's just paint some information on this you can see that it actually hides your other layer and it'll only paint on that layer um, sorry on that material like so. So if we just look at our mask you can see it's only appearing on those UVs. Um, let's just select the mask again if you don't want it to hide the object like that, you can come to Edit, 
settings and you can tick off this only display the selected material when painting and now when you paint you can see both like that. So obviously this does have advantages and disadvantages in that um, at the moment I'm only painting on that but I might want that effect to come across like so and you can also do that there by the way. Um, so sometimes it can be better to you know be painting onto both material sets at once it depends on what you want